but um, there you have that. Uh, so where's the key? Not in the bank, not in the cell. I think the most likely spawn for it is in the saloon, and there it is. Golden. Well, it's green, so not golden. Green and gold, green and yellow are very close in the colour spectrum. Faraday! Sup! So, um, have him. Uh, where am I going again? Oh, yeah. Get out of the way, zombie. I have a key to... I'll drop the candy. The annoying thing is, is that the chalk, key, candy and booze are all in one part collection place, so... I think Ben's here. No, that's just a white van. I don't think Ben drives a white van. Although if he did, that'd be funny. We should get that on, like, a vlog some way. Should, like, dress him up in, like, Chris's clothes, because Chris is a chimney sweep for a living. Um, he likes to spend all of his earnings on gambling online, obviously. Um, because he's not, he's not going out to Vegas. Why would he do that for? He's too, um, he's too small for Vegas. You have to be at least three foot two to get into Vegas. And until then, you're not getting anywhere. You're not getting anywhere near that. Because they have to make sure that you're not, like, hiding under the tables, like, tickling people's balls. So, that's, I know that, that's something Chris always does. That's what gets him kicked out of a lot of casinos. Um, so, uh, that's great. I wonder how this is going to work. Where are they all going? Typically they jump up. Weird. Ah, ah, no, 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 we're all fine. This isn't particularly a good place as well. Ooh, look at all them. Look at all them faggots. Lining up, trying to get killed. Got my hammer to the face. Wipe the brains all over the floor and they fall down into a nice little pile. This song doesn't rhyme, but it doesn't really need to. And it's out of time, and the stool's upside down. And, uh, and it goes on. I still have no idea who that fat cunt is, but um, we're gonna have to figure that out eventually. Because if Faraday is important, I mean, all the pictures around the map actually. Um, there's one which is called Edwardian Girls, um, which is really weird that they just went on Google Images, put some color in it, and then that was it. But I think that these are obviously free of use because you can't copyright someone's picture which is over a hundred years old. I'm not sure how visual copyright works, but I know that audio copyright, um, after I think a hundred years it becomes a folk song so that they, um, it has no copyright uh, legislation things at all, but I'm not really sure on that. So don't quote me on that, I'm not copyright guru. I'm sorry about that, I'd like to be, I wouldn't like to be, that'd be kind of shit. Well, you do earn quite a lot of money, but then you have to read a lot of stuff, so... I need to make sure that I'm not spitting everywhere. I do find that most uh, of the way through commentaries, I do have a large amount of spit accumulating in my face. So... Build that shit, faggot. Come on. Yeah. Now, the question is, will he go and get one part or get all of the parts? Let's follow him. And we see Simple Jack in his natural habitat, walking around. At the speed of sound. Where the shit did he go? Oh yeah, he comes over here. He's got that part. And he got the flag as well. So I'm guessing he's taken every single part, which is good. He must have taken every single... Yeah, he's taken every single part, sweet. I don't know why that one instance in that one guide that I did on him, he only took one of the parts, but um... What can you do, I guess? He built it all. Sex. Now I've opened these now that the now the strategy's kind of fallen down. But there's this one corridor back here which no one actually really goes into. I mean, why would you? There's nothing um, down here except this hole. Which I need to test if zombies will jump up through this. Because um, that's what I have to do. So let's take you and see if you can jump down through it. And he does. And let's bring him out a little bit and see if that works. That's something which we need to work on as well, the uh, jump up points and the jump down points for zombies. Because we don't actually know. Because some areas they won't jump up, but they will jump down, like in the church for example. Um, there are different areas like that, and you can jump into there. This is like the ideal location to be... He doesn't come up here. And there's no windows that need defending. Interesting. Let's try this tactic out, shall we? And just in case they do come up... And just in case we need a quicker escape, just fling out the door. That'd be great. So hopefully they don't come in that way. That'd be good if they didn't do that. But um, if this works, big long fucking corridor. 
I mean, really. Hopefully it still holds up. So we're going to have to see. We're going to have to see. It's all them zombies. This seems to work quite... If this does turn out to be a legitimate strategy, I'm going to try not to get into the smoke so that I can streamline them a little bit more. Because I don't need the smoke at all right now. Because... I'm not in danger of doing anything stupid, so... Well, I am in danger of... I'm in danger constantly of doing something stupid. Like saying that I love you. God, that song. When does that come into my brain? I don't know. And then I go and spoil it all by shooting you in the brains with my SVU. Ah! Yeah, SVU doesn't really work too much. Um... No doubled pants. I love when it, my pants are twice the amount. I've got twice the amount of pants, Mum. I'm pretty sure that if I do shit myself, I can just burn the pants like we did for Charlie, and then we will move on happily. Well, this is a new tactic to employ, and you have a very easy escape right there. Um, I'm going to have to test the uh, escape route. I mean, you can just not have the trample scene there and just jump out to that. Um, but that's kind of boring, so... We'll see about that, actually. We could put it right there, and then that's a supporting defense. Let's see about this. How does this work? It's like a game of motherfucking chess. It's not, at all. It's really not. Some people say that, uh, you know, there's no difference between uh, a chessboard and the battlefield. Obviously, you've never played Call of Duty, because that's not like that at all. Although, I think they weren't really considering Call of Duty, and they were mostly considering, like, um, the actual battlefield back in that time, where they didn't have guns, and it was all, like, bow and arrows and swords and shit. Um... That's actually one thing that I actually like about, um, I'm not actually too sure when, I think it was like Battle of Hastings kind of, uh, 10th, 11th century time or something like that, where there were a lot of people who didn't like using, uh, like bow and arrows and stuff because they felt that it didn't, like, bring their people honour or something like that, um, and they just thought that like, it was like some sort of dirty kind of cheap tactic. And obviously it's all fair in love and war, so that went out the window pretty quickly and everyone started using bows and arrows. Um, and anyone who didn't, they lost quite often. So um, yeah, that's um, something with that.